So I got some bad news today that I'll share with you a little later in the video, but for now, I want to talk to you about something that's really important to me. And look at these funny little monkeys here. I always say that the thing that's amazing about tortoises is that when they see you, they all come running over because they know they're going to get food or treat. I mean, obviously what makes me happy and what's near and dear to my heart are animals and my whole life is about animals. But I want to talk to you about inspiring you to not give up. What I mean by that is that I've had a lifelong journey with animals and it hasn't always been easy. There's been ups and downs. Obviously the majority of my career working with animals was BHB reptiles breeding them and selling babies and then over the last five years we've really switched to education and it's really been the most amazing journey of my life. If I would have given up at some of those down times during BHB, maybe when I had a bad year of production or maybe when the economy was a little bit soft and sales were soft and I was barely paying my bills, it was easy for me to want to give up. But if I would have given up, I would have never gotten to the point where I am now, where I was so happy with the decision with the Reptarium and of course the future of the Legacy Aquarium. And by the way, this is a gorgeous snake here. This is actually a Japanese rat snake. And this particular one is from an island called Kunisur. And its technical name is Climacophora. Just really amazing. And sometimes these will actually be a blue color too. The fact that I've been able to be around such amazing animals has been so incredible to me. And if you think my journey on YouTube has been easy it certainly hasn't there's been so many ups and downs even recently the channel has been soft i don't know maybe it's because people don't want to watch me because i'm sick maybe it's because uh it's just a cycle but it happens you know i mean it's not always this upward trajectory that is always great you know sometimes the channel is crushing and you feel so good and you feel so positive and then other times the channel is down and you try to change things up so that maybe you can reach people but you know from you i want to know in the comments what do you guys think i mean what is it that we do that causes like dips like we're having Having right now is there something that we can change to make it better I know today is a little bit of a downer I'll tell you about it in a little bit but I try to keep upbeat as much as I can and try to be as positive as I can and again it's so important for me to inspire you guys to keep going you know and even like days like today where you know maybe something bad happens and you feel a little bit down there's still rays of light like for instance there's some new things happening across the street now I'm actually gonna go get the crew and go across and take a look so good to have the crew back it's good that you're back uh, Connie did a great job when he was gone. Thank you so much. I wasn't expecting anything less, but listen, you guys want to walk across the street, see Legacy now that the windows are in? Yes. yes. Plus, plus, I heard uh, my contractor told me something that I'm excited about that I haven't seen yet. I didn't even know about it until a couple minutes ago. So let's walk across the street. Okay, so when we left, the glass was not in. I, are these the metal panels? I don't even know what's going on. It looks so different. This is crazy. You guys missed a lot of work when you were gone. No. All right, so what do you guys think, by the way, the surprise is? The wall? Oh, whoa, I didn't even notice. <laughs> the wall's gone. So now you can literally stand in here where like basically the reptile enclosures are gonna start, like Ivy's enclosure's gonna be right about here. And you can actually look at Ivy's how cool is that? This is huh? awesome, dude. The wall's gone. How, when did cool? this happen? Just today. I just oh. got I just got off the phone with my contractor and I said, hey, is there any way we could take that wall down? He's like, people have been there since seven in the morning taking it down. I was like, what? I'm like, how cool is that? So, so good. Uh, dude, it looks so cool in the blue yeah. glass. Look at the color. Wow. Dude, this is cool. That's awesome, Bri. Yeah, it's cool, right? So like this whole thing's coming down? Probably by the end of the day, this will all be gone. Wow. It's almost more room for activity. Wow. Now you can like see how far it goes that way. I know, isn't it wild? You know, throughout life there are so many challenges. Everyone deals with them in different ways. It's always been the animals that I've went back to. Ever since I was a kid, I would always go back to the animals whenever I had a problem. I mean, you know, I love people, and I'm one of those rare individuals that actually love people and I love animals, but still there's just kind of this sense of peace peace that comes for me with the animals. You guys know when I went through my anxiety, you know, spending time with Ivy was one of my therapeutic things. And it helped me get through the worst days. Amongst other things like, you know, Jay who's behind the camera that helped me. There's just a beauty and calmness when it comes to animals. When you have a bad day like I'm having today, when you get some bad news and you kind of feel like, okay, things might be okay, we're gonna get through things. And then all of a sudden you hear something that doesn't make you feel very optimistic. You know, for me, it's back to the animals. I mean, Night Fury, I mean, look at this animal. Even though he's a little bit twitchy and he's not really the most amazing handling animal, just look at the absolute beauty of that. I mean, look at the iridescence. I'm in astonishment of how beautiful each and every animal is. And I've been so blessed to be able to spend my life around these animals. And speaking of Ivy, she's my baby. I love her to death. You know, again, get to spend so much time with her. Lucky to have had the time I've had with her. And you know, we just had Animal Con, right? You guys saw the video. If you didn't, please watch it. 
it was incredible. And the thing is, is that if through all of the things that I go through, whether it's anxiety or my health issue, if I can just inspire one person to move on, you know? My friend Bionic Benny is a great example of an inspiration, right? And no matter what he's going through, he's always smiling and he's really pushing forward. Doesn't mean that times are good all the time, but you know, if you can inspire people to keep going, if you love animals, go after your dreams, follow your dreams. If you love something else, do that, you know? I'm just a guy that loved animals and I was able to build a Reptarium and now we're building the Legacy Aquarium. You see the progress there. It's gonna really change over the next couple weeks. I can't wait to share the journey when tanks are being built and tanks are arriving and exhibits are arriving and ultimately we're theming things out. It's going to be so incredible and I'm praying that that can inspire someone to go forward. Trust me, I'm nobody special and the fact that I'm able to build so many amazing things just because I believed in myself and continued to push and did things that everyone said I couldn't do and even with the Legacy Aquarium, still to this day, the majority of people I've talked to say I'm a crazy man, but yet I want to inspire you guys to follow your dreams. Speaking of Animal Con, there was an experience that happened I want to share with you right now that was one of the most incredible experiences that I've ever had and so, so emotional. We have a guy that has dedicated all of his life, all of his passion. We've seen him cry, shed tears, go from being one of the biggest breeders in the world and importers and exporters to one of the content creators of our time. We love him dearly. We support him. We're all here for him and only him. We love our animals, but we're here for B today. So now we're going to lift him up in prayer. We're going to put our hands on him and we're going to say, hey, Lord, whoever you guys believe in, no matter what it is or what your religion is or what you believe in, where you come from, what you look like, we're going to pray for our boy, give him all the strength, everything he needs for his, from his, le his legacy, his, his family. He's a grandpa now. He's got an aquarium he's building. We're, we're going to pray for him and we're going to let him see all these things come to fruition. I actually give Brian the strength every single day to wake up and conquer his dreams, Lord. I ask you give him his family, his all they need every single day to be happy and healthy, Lord. I ask you give all his dreams deep down in his soul from the bottom of his feet to the top of his head, Lord. In the Bible, when Samson lost his hair, he became weaker. But Lord, I ask you give Brian, he lost his hair, you make him stronger, Lord. Yeah. You give him everything he needs to fight through this time. I swear, we all pray to you and we love you and we ask you to give all of our strength to be so we can conquer this time of difficulty and actually make, make them only stronger, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Come on. So here is the bad news and uh, I apologize to anyone that's watching that wants to just see me play with animals. Tomorrow we'll get back to playing with animals. So I got the CT scan yesterday and uh, got a call from the doctor today. You know, things were going good. Remember last time I had good news. We had the tumors were shrinking and there was some positive news. Well, uh, before Animal Con, we had uh, some blood markers going the other way. So before Animal Con, I, I knew there was a chance I was gonna get the news that we got today. And that's number one, that the tumor in my pancreas is growing again, which is not good, obviously. But more importantly, um, I have a few tumors now in my liver. And, um, you know, there's only two treatments, known treatments for pancreatic cancer. Uh, they're both chemo. I've been on both, but one is called Propurinex, the other one is Abraxine and, and, and Gemnar. And, and so now I've been on both treatments and both have failed. So they cancel the treatments moving forward. I meet with doctors within the next week to talk about clinical trials. For those of you that have told me the millions of holistic ideas. I'm doing some of them, as many as I feel is important. I can't do them all. I don't know if any of them work anyways. You know, I've been doing some of them for quite some time. I know that when you guys reach out and talk to me about turkey tail mushrooms or apricot seeds or whatever, I know that you're reaching out out of the kindness of your heart, but also realize that those treatments typically don't work. That's why people go through such horrific treatments like chemo. Those alternative things typically don't work, you know? I mean, every now and then they do. It's rare. And so I'm doing some, and I will continue to do some. The fight begins again, you know? We've been battling for seven months, five months of chemo. We have to battle again. Is it what I want? 
course not. Do I feel uplifted right now? Not by a long shot. Is my faith shaken? No. Is my belief in that I'll survive shaken? A little, but I'll rebound and I'll fight. Two grandkids now, two wonderful children, one grandkid on the way that I'm super excited about, and a ton of friends and people and supporters that love me. And I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. I really don't. I know your prayers matter. I know your support matters. Your positive energy matters. In my my head, it's hard to wrap around that, that this could be it. Like, I don't think that the universe is done with me, you know? I think that somehow, somewhere, there's gonna be some miracle even though the doctors may not think so traditional thought probably doesn't think so miracles happen you know things happen and uh it's tough but i want you guys to know that i appreciate you and i'm not going to stop fighting i'm not going to stop loving animals I'm not going to stop trying to get you to love animals. The legacy will be there, no matter what. And I hope that I'll leave a mark on this world, whether it's soon or 30 years from now. And not out of ego, but, but out of love for wildlife. I want to be here to see it. I want to be here to see the legacy aquarium become what I know it can become. See all those smiling faces when they get to do the things that we created. I want to see Animal Con blossom like it did this year but blossom again next year and the year after i want to see my family I want to grow old with lori like i promised her we would and i want to reach so many more people with the message that i am so passionate about and i will for as long as i can i might take a day or two next week just so you guys know to spend time with my grandkids because right now time with my family means everything to me so if there's not a video here or there just bear with me know that I still am thinking about you, and I pray that you'll continue to support us. Occasionally I get people that tell me I stopped watching because I didn't like to see you with cancer. Please don't do that. I need you guys to keep watching and supporting. Tough day, but you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow we're going to wake up and we're going to get back to the battle as best as we can. Yeah, I mean, we can look back on this, right? When we beat this, think of the testimony that's going to be there. So that's it, guys. I love you so much. You changed my life. And I'll never, ever, ever forget the support that you are. I'm nothing without you guys. And I hope that one person that's watching this, hopefully a lot of people, but at least one person that watches this, gets the message out of this, which is don't give up. You know, never give up. No matter how dark it seems, no matter how hopeless it feels, you've got to believe. So get up. Dent the universe, make the changes, you know? Whatever you're passionate about, follow it. No matter what happens to me, I've been so blessed to live the life I've lived. That's it. It sucks. And uh, tomorrow we're going to have fun on the vlog. Tomorrow we'll be smiling and we'll have energy and it's going to be good. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, just remember I love you guys. Okay.